Hi guys! How are we doing today? My beautiful dragonflies. Well, I am a glutton for punishment. I just left Joanne's again. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. I have not started driving yet, so don't freak out on me. But look at this spider. On the rear view mirror. Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it now, but it's there. It's big, it's ugly, and I'm going to try and get it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to where I can just put it out of the car. So, <clears throat> let me get you adjusted before I start moving. Uh, but i got to get this thing. So, let me find a piece of paper or something. I have a receipt. It's that CBS receipt. Oh, I squished him. I didn't mean to squish Oh my gosh, I tried to pick him up and it squished. So, I'm so sorry, Spider. I was going to put you out, but you can't be on my rearview mirror because you will jump down on me when I'm driving and then I'll really freak out. And that won't be good. <laughs> okay, we got to get this air flowing. It is hot. It is the first day of October and it is 89 degrees right now and going up. I know I look disheveled, but when we get to, um, that lady just started walking right behind my car, right from her, her right from her car. I wish people wouldn't do that. Okay, now I've got a van trying to back up. Same time I'm backing up. People are wonderful, I'm telling you. Um, if this thing moves too much, I'm sorry, but I had some people concerned that I was not paying enough attention to the road and too much attention to my phone. So, okay, we're going to go this way to go out. Um, so, I'm going to try this and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know what to do. I'm still in a parking lot trying to figure out the best way to get out of here. Uh, but, yeah, I got some more yarn, and I'll show you what I got when we get to the school, if we have time. I don't know if we'll have time or not. Okay, I'm going to have to go around Aspen Dental. Woo! Oops, car's backing out. Bad thing about being in a parking lot, parking lot. people just don't pay attention he started turning and he started backing out all at the same time. But, it is what it is. Um, okay, we're down here. We're going to get out of here and go get Aiden. I wanted to come to Joanne's before I got Aiden because Aiden likes to add lots of things to my cart. And, um, that's not good. So, because I had enough extras to my car as it is. Oh, nice little bump and I'm at a red light now. Okay. I'm going to try and bend you guys back up just a little. We're at a light. We're stopped. That might be a little bit better. Maybe. Okay, sorry about that guys. I had to wait till I got to a place where I could stop. I hit a button and you guys disappeared. So I had to wait till I got to a place where I could stop and fix the problem but so you miss about uh, probably a good two minutes of the drive so far because of course when you want to hit a red light you don't hit a red light so <laughs> I didn't hit any more red lights and I finally came to a stop sign and there was cars in front of me so give me a minute to re-push buttons don't worry I do watch the road when I drive I'm getting parched. Um, I've been in too many crazy accidents not to pay attention to the road while I'm driving. So, yes, yesterday was a little crazy because of the angle of the camera and everything. But it was directly, it was, you know, it was on the dash. So, I could see the camera in my peripheral. Because um, you can see so far down. That's why they put that, all the stuff here, so you can see it at a glance. 
So, <clears throat> now I've got you off to the side. I'll be looking at you less, but um, hopefully this will make everybody feel a lot better about me driving and vlogging. I don't know. This is all new to me, and this is all trial and error. The um, tripod thing that I have is what you're on now, and I'm hoping to figure out a way to stabilize it just a little bit better. Well, I thought about putting rubber bands on my rear view and sliding my phone in there, but the problem with that is do I really want to take the chance of hurting my rear view? Because if they're on there long enough, won't that damage the rear view? I don't know. Will it leave marks in my rear view? Let me know what you guys think. So, yeah, sorry. I'm burping a little bit. So when I left, um, the house, uh, the guys were there and they were working on the soffits. They're almost done. Uh, the issue that we ran into yesterday was bees and we had to get them rerouted somewhere else. There was a bee's nest and we had to get them rerouted somewhere else away from, they were by a window and we had to get them moved. Well, we waited till night time and we moved them because they're more dormant at night. They don't like to be out moving around at night. It's a little chillier out, and I don't know, they just don't move around as much at night. And so, um, we got them moved. Because the guys that are doing the soffits, they didn't want to mess with the bees, which I don't blame them. I'm allergic to bees, I wouldn't want to mess with them either. But, got my boyfriend out there, I held the flashlight, and we got the nest removed. And they're fine. They're doing fine. We checked on them several times today, and they're still in their nest, and they're doing great. So, with that said, problem averted, done. And nobody was harmed in the making. <laughs> so, they're getting it fixed. There is a couple bees that are hanging around, like five or six hanging around that area. But that's just because that's where they need for home. But they'll find their way back to their queen, I promise you. Um, so, yeah. So that happened. So we take care of that. And then, um, so they should have that done today. And I'm so freaking excited. Um, and then once they get that all done, then we can finish what we're doing with the windows. Now, because I couldn't get new windows, and most of the problem with my windows is they're very old. The storm windows, most of those are broken. They were all aluminum and most of them were broken. So, they weren't doing us any good. Sorry. They weren't doing us any good. And, um, so, but the solution we came up with, kind of expensive for what we're doing, but in the long run it won't be. Um, we're going to have to do windows probably room by room in order to, to be able to afford it. Now, we're, we're not going with the company that came out. They wanted $900 a window, and that is just ridiculous. We can do it much cheaper. My son knows how to put windows in. He does it for, but he does it for industrial, um, restaurants, hotels, places where the windows don't open. He does that. Commercial? Is that what it is? Yes, commercial, and not residential. But he does have the basis of how to do it. He's changed windows at his house. So he said he would help us do it. Well, we're not gonna have time to start a project like that this time of year because normally October, we're getting into the colder, colder weather. It has held up and held on, and it's now 91 degrees, by the way. Um, it has held on to the nicer weather, which I'm, I'm thankful for because we're getting the soffits and the, the fascias fixed which they really needed it. And then, what we're doing, okay, long story short, I'm, I'm too late for that, right? Okay, anyway, what we're doing is we bought one by ones, and they were, you get them in bundles of six at Lowe's, and they, they're like 98 cents a piece or 89 cents a piece, I can't remember. But for two bundles, it was like $12, 11 56 I think. Anyway, so we went, we figured out how much we would need for each window. And then, so we bought that, and we got L brackets, the flat L brackets, that, you know, so we could 
build a frame, put the L brackets in each corner, and yeah. Okay, so we did that, and then we took clear plastic, and it's not the super heavy stuff, because that stuff is way more expensive, but we were managed to get enough money, and we got a whole roll of the clear plastic, and we're using the, we're building the frames, and we're putting the clear plastic on, and that will act as storm windows, which will make a big difference because the house is not, hasn't had proper storm windows in years. So that's going to make a big difference. It's already starting to make a big difference from what we've already done. We've got all, we have, the kitchen is almost done. We have an air conditioner in there. It has to come out, but the wind, when that comes out, then that will be done. Bathroom's done. Um, the living room is done. And the living room is a giant picture window. So, yeah, that was one of the first ones we did. And then my mom's bedroom is done. Basically, all we have left is the garage <coughs> and the family room. And then we're at a red light, by the way. And um, then we will have everything done. And while we were there getting those, we also got a new gasket for the bottom of the garage door. Um, and that will help a lot because at the end of the gasket that's on there now, there's a uh, places where it's worn so bad there's these pieces of it are gone. And the only thing I can think of is there's chipmunks that like to run in and out of my garage. And all I can think of is that they've chewed that. I don't know why they come in my garage, but you go out there and you chase them. And they just go right back to that place and go out. So I'm, I'm assuming they chewed that. Well, we got the raccoon, or not raccoon, oh my gosh, the chipmunk problem taken care of. They are not coming in the garage anymore. Um, we did not hurt them. We did not kill them. We just removed. There was some wood stacked on the side of the house, and that's where they were hanging out. We moved that, got rid of it, eliminated it, and now they don't hang out there. So they're not going in and out of my garage. So, what I did notice the other day when I was in the pantry that there is a mouse in my pantry. Which explains why Bob is hanging out in the pantry. But, um, so I saw that, saw signs of it. Little, little mousey droppings. So, when I get that eliminated as quick as possible, and getting that gas gasket changed will help a lot with that too, because then they're going to have to find another way in, and I think I've pretty much set up any way that they could get in, I believe. I will double check, but I believe I have gotten all areas fixed where they were coming in so other than that gasket so we're going to change that gasket we're going to finish the windows we have one two three four five six windows six windows left to do in the gasket so we should be able to get that done before it gets too cold now Staying cooler 
even the rooms, we only have two window air conditioners going. We had three and I killed one. I was I was thinking I was being smart and I was gonna drill a hole in the bottom of the thing to let the water out because it wasn't draining properly instead of waiting for help to do it or to you know, help to readjust it, whatever. I took it upon myself and I drilled a hole. Did I drill a hole in the bottom and let the water out? The water did come out. I hit the Freon line and it just said, and it was like, oops. So we're down to two. We had three, we're down to two. The three were fine at keeping everything cool without the temporary storm windows. I guess that's what we're going to call them temporary storm windows. Before the temporary storm windows were in place, the three air conditioners were doing fine. When we went in and we got down to two, and we still didn't have the temporary storm windows in place. Certain rooms you could feel a difference. Um, but since we've done the windows we've done, and we haven't even finished all of them yet, um, the, the rooms all feel the same temperature. They don't, you don't feel a drastic change from room to room. So that's really good. And so I, that's why I think that they are working. So, the idea of the temporary, yes, we spent some money to make them, yes, we took some time to make them, but here's the great thing, the windows that we put the air conditioners in, we can take those off and store those in the shed. They will be marked for which window they go to, and then in the fall, when we take the air conditioners out, we just get those out of the shed and put them back up unless we've already gotten that room new windows. Um, and after, oh, we're gonna stop for a train. We've got plenty of time though, it's only 25 after. 25 after two. <sighs> Excuse me. And we don't have to be at the school to get him until 2.40. So we have plenty of time. Um, but uh, after we're done with each one, when I have enough of them, I'm going to try and build a grow box in the backyard. It'll be like a miniature greenhouse, but they're already framed. All I have to do is figure out how to build the bottoms and then attach those with hinges at the top. And then I will be able to grow in them even in the wintertime. So, yesterday I went and got grow lights because I do have plants that come in in the winter and I would like for them to have their grow light. They do get sunshine and I've never had a problem with any of them dying from not enough sunshine. Oh, oh excuse me again. I am so freaking sorry for all that. Oh, it looks like they're watering the gravel so it's not as dusty. That's nice. bagel and cream cheese tea today. I'm not hungry. That's part of my problem is though, I am never really hungry. I can go all day and I'll think about food all day. Yesterday I got hungry and I ate a candy bar which was bad. But it was the only thing I had quick. Today I had a bagel. And that bagel will stay with me until dinner time if I let it. Being a diabetic, though, I really need to start getting my three meals and my is it two, three snacks. I'm supposed to eat breakfast, have it, and then have it later and have a snack, then eat lunch, and later have a snack, then eat dinner, and then later have a snack. So it's three and three. That's what it is. Three and three. Okay, rum shaker. 
Um, so, I need to wake up. Whew. But anyway, um, we're stopped at the school, by the way, and I'm gonna scoot my seat back because we have a little bit of time. I'm gonna go ahead and push this button, scoot my seat back, and I can show you what I got at Joanne's. And then I don't have to do a whole nother video. Well, I'm probably gonna add these on to the video I already did. Okay. So, remember when I got these yesterday and they were on sale for $4.99? Yes. Like, half price. So, I worked up the one, and I'll show it on my yarn update, my crochet update. And it's in the color sandbox. It's very pretty. I can take these off, really. I'm using my necklace, which is great. Um... So I did, I worked up the first one, 100 stitches long, and um, it's about yay wide. But yeah, yay wide. Well, I want it to be a nice size throw, so I did the back. I uh, had mom help me, and we measured it, and we decided that we needed four for a good size throw. So I went back, and I got two more of these, but that's not going to leave enough for mom to have a blanket and she really liked these colors so I picked up this one and the only color color in it is this teal color now if she doesn't like the teal color then I will take the blanket that I make with this one and I will give her the blanket made with this one I'll let her pick because I like them both I think they're both really pretty this one is called tiny teal, which makes sense because it's got just the tiniest little amount of teal in it. So, I got four of these and I got two more of these. Well, I went into the clearance section and that's a big no-no, but it's okay. I found the tool and with the tool, I can make scrubbies for your kitchen and I found the tool that was five yards and 54 inches wide and they had them on clearance for $1.97. So I got two of these and I, that's plenty to make a lot of scrubbies. Um, I tried making scrubbies last year and they, they were a disaster. Okay, and then I found these turkeys and they were half off and I figured Aiden could make one for my house and one for his mom's house. So yeah. So I got two of those. So they were like the regular price was three ninety nine. So I got them for like two dollars, just under two dollars. And then over in the clearance, I found this, and this is everyday Premier everyday anti peeling, and it's very soft, hundred percent acrylic, hundred percent anti peeling. So yeah. Oh, so soft. There are four ply. I would say, mm, I say they are more of a three, but I like chunkier yarn. So, but anyway, it says four. That's what we're gonna go with. And to work it up, use a five point five, and that'll give you a four by four square. And the color is. Where are you at? Come on, where's my color? Color, 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 color. It's 203 yards in each one. Where is the freaking... It just gives me a lot number. Oh, here we go. Really red. So, I'm going to try and make a fire truck um, Halloween bag for my niece's son. So, I ended up... I found four of the red and I think I have everything else I need to make it because I just have to do windows tires a ladder so those are just scrap yarns I love the smell of fresh yarn um, but okay so that's what I got at Joann's so
I need to get that fire truck started. But that blanket is whipping up so fast. Oh my gosh, guys. I just found three varicose veins on my right leg. Probably not good. Because it's having to take the strain of the left leg. That's probably not good. I'm also covered in freaking bruises. It's from doing the construction around the house and stuff. I have two here. I have one here. They're almost gone. And then I have one on my leg. It's horrible. But it is what it is, I guess. I take blood thinners. I'm going to have... Um... Bruises. So, like, I put my hair in this little tiny pony. This little tiny bun at the back of my neck. Because I'm trying to decide... If I get my hair short, cut short. Because I need my hair to be healthy. And it's not healthy right now. So I'm thinking about going and having it so that it'll do something. Be cute. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. You guys let me know what you think. Would I look okay with short hair all the time? I don't know. I don't know. Because if I do it short, then I can't wear my messy bun topper. And I could still wear my long pony, but I wouldn't be able to wear my messy topper. I don't know. Things you think about when you're in the car by yourself waiting for your grandson to get out of school. But, you know, it is what it is. This is, this is it. This is how my life is. Uh, Mom couldn't come because boyfriend had to leave. He had something to do. And uh, I had to come get Aiden, and so she had to stay there in case the guys that are working on the house, which is a friend of my boyfriend's, so I, he's not going to let anything happen to my mom. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at, pretty much. No, not much has changed. I didn't get the freaking banana bread started, so I, I have to do it today. Have to. Um, I'm going to try and do it and edit this video at the same time. I think it'll work. I think it'll be alright. Um, I know these cars sitting around me are like looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. Because you can clearly tell that there are no other people in this car. But that's okay. It's perfectly fine with me. We can't see the camera either because it's down under the window. That way I don't have to worry about the light hitting it so much. Um, I just attached you to the door. It just works out a lot easier, I think. Um, the kids are coming out. The bus kids are coming out. Let me get another load in. Um... Usually around 2.42, 2.43, we'll start moving to get Aiden. And then once I get pulled up and stopped, then I will stop the vlog there for the day. My vlogs are not going to be long vlogs. Um, and I am going to put another video up today. I had a Dollar Tree haul from yesterday. And I'm going to get that put up. I cannot move, lady. I'm so sorry. I hope she's not one to leave. I can't tell. Oh, she just got something out of her car. Okay. Um, there's a church here, and sometimes we get parked to pick kids up, and then people come out from the church, and they want to leave, and they can't leave. Um, I'm usually real good about letting them out, but uh, I wouldn't be able to today because the guy that's behind me is really up on my tail. I always park back far enough that I can see their tires. That way, if I can get out, if I need to get out, I can get out. And I think more people should do that. Um, they don't. They don't. The tractor back there working. Look at that whole road right by the school. Blocked off. It's crazy. Why would you do that this time of year? Um, I don't know. 
Uh, my foot's been giving me a lot more pain lately. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I just don't know how bad it is. And I don't want to dwell on it because then I'll kick up some more depression. And I'm trying really hard not to deal with that right now. I'm trying to stay a positive, into a positive place. But I do like the yarn. You have to tell me which one you like better. The Tiny Teal or the Sandbox. I like the Sandbox. And I like the way it's working up. But I like the one with the Teal too. So whatever mom doesn't want. I don't care either way. I like them both. The fire engine, I'm just going to make... Gosh, that is so freaking soft. If I have any of this left, I'm going to make... A scarf or a hat. Or probably a scarf. Probably a scarf. I won't have enough left, I don't think, for a shawl. But possibly a scarf. The pure, Premier... Uh, yarn is usually pretty good. So, I'm trying to see what the original price was. Oh, wow. You guys. All they did was put a clearance sticker on it. At $3.97 to make it look good. But the original price is $3.97. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm going to have to watch that more when I'm in there at Joanne's. Okay, i got to move up. So, here we go. I was looking at that and reading that and oh, wasn't paying attention. And here we go. Okay, we're moving. i got to get my glasses on too. Okay, we're going to get up here and... As soon as I get stopped, I'm going to get my glasses on first. I am going to get off here because Aiden is standing here waiting. He's one of the first kids up here, so that's great. So as soon as I get this, he'll be in my car. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming along with my ride today. Remember, all dragonflies are beautiful in their own way, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Grandma turned into a bed. Yeah.